Troops under heavy fire often look to the skies for rescue, praying for an something like an Apache or A-10 to materialize and destroy the enemy. But sometimes help comes in less expected and more unusual forms. MH-60 Direct Action Penetrator The humble Black Hawk helicopter is a great utility aircraft, but the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment looked at it and thought, could use more guns. They fly a modified Black Hawk, the MH-60 Direct Action Penetrator. Instead of carrying troops, it carries a light armament support structure to which weapons can be mounted. Weapons used on the DAP include miniguns, 30mm chain guns, rocket pods, Hellfire missile launchers, air-to-air -air stinger missiles, and a three-barreled .50 cal Gatling gun. Guns A Go Go, the Chinook Attack Helicopter. The Chinook is a beloved aircraft, but it's the manatee of Army aviation and is only thought of as threatening because it can carry dozens of combat-equipped troops. In the 1960s though, four of them were modified into attack helicopters. Re-designated as ACH-47 as, each bird had a 40mm grenade launcher in a turret, two 20mm cannons, a spot for either a 2.75-inch rocket launcher or 7.62mm rotary minigun, as well as five crew stations that were usually outfitted with .50 caliber machine guns. All four were eventually sent to Vietnam where they got the nickname, Guns A Go-Go. One was lost in a runway accident, one experienced a mechanical failure and crashed, and one was shot down during the Tet Offensive. Since the helicopters worked in pairs, the survivor was sent back to America as a training tool for maintainers. It has since been restored and is on display at Redstone Arsenal. V-22, but with missiles, America's first tilt rotor serves in raids, medical evacuation, troop transport and supply missions, but in its heart it wants to kill things directly. That's why Bell Boeing has tested V-22s with rockets and missiles at Yuma Proving Grounds, Arizona, though they haven't gotten any purchase orders yet. KC-130 J Harvest Hawk Most people know about the AC-130 gunship, but there is actually another C-130 variant that can rain down death and destruction. The KC-130J Harvest Hawk can carry four Hellfire and ten Griffin missiles which it fires using the same sight sensor that is on the A-1Z Cobra attack helicopter. Dropping bombs out of cargo planes has been a common measure of desperation for under-equipped air forces and opportunistic mercenaries throughout the history of aviation. However, in 2009 the U.S. Marine Corps found a way to make a virtue out of flexibility by developing Harvest Hawk, a kit which allowed their new KC-130J refueling tankers to double as missile-toting gunships and creepy aerial spying platforms that would put the eye of Mordor to shame. Six $22 million Hawk kits were assembled, and 10 KC-130Js modified to accept them. The kits added an AAQ-30 targeting sighting system sensor pod under the KC-130J's left wingtip fuel tank which can spot individuals up to 10 miles away, an M299 quad launcher capable of carrying four AGM-114P2 Hellfire II anti-tank missiles, or P2A anti-personnel models, under the right wing, and a box launcher loaded with 10 smaller AGM-176 Griffin GPS guided missile on the cargo ramp. That's right, the beast had to lower the cargo bay door mid-flight to fire the Griffins. The Hawks crew of seven included a pilot and co-pilot two fire control officers operating a fire control system fixed on a cargo pallet, a crewmaster and two cargo masters that double as Griffin missile operators. Harvest Hawks provide overwatch for friendly ground troops by spending hours slowly orbiting overhead using their sensor balls to scan huge swaths of terrain and spy on what the locals below are up to. As Hawk crew member Major Mark Blankenbricker told Defense Media, we use our cameras to look at villages, watch pattern of life and assess what is going on in the area of operation at that time. No less than seven onboard radios allow close coordination with ground forces and friendly aircraft. If the grunts on the ground run into trouble, the Hawks sling guided missiles fairly precisely on top of the hostels. A Harvest Hawk was deployed by Marine Air Refueling Squadron 352 to Afghanistan in October 2010, 
and first saw action at Sangin on November 4 while supporting 5th Regiment Marines, killing five Taliban insurgents with a Hellfire missile. The Lone Hawk soon proved to be under constant demand by ground troops. By 2012, Harvest Hawks were a reliable fixture of Marine air support over Helmand Province, Afghanistan is detailed profile by Code 1 magazine in which Marine Major John Bolter of VMGR 252 shared a starting figure. Our launch total was considerably more than Marine Harriers, Navy Hornets, and even Air Force A-10s. With only one aircraft, we shot close to half of all the kinetic weapons launched in theater in the nine months we were there. The armed tankers averaged four flight hours a day, though could remain aloft as many as ten hours if necessary. The aircraft sensors reportedly could distinguish humans from animals, and even adults from children. In one incident, a Hawk crew spotted a group of Taliban firing on U.S. troops while using children, as a buffer, and to resupply ammunition. Unwilling to launch missiles, the pilots instead buzzed low overhead while spraying out a rain of defensive flares. The insurgents and their captives dispersed. Thought it was. Copy the 